Hey everybody, it's me and Drizzle back. Jay Wilkins 79 here. Sunglasses man went home, I think. So. I think he's eating the lunch that I made. <sighs> yeah, thank you for doing that, cause he would have had my food then. So. So today we're gonna do this horror movie tag that we found on Google because Drizzle was mentioning that we haven't done too many tag videos. Actually, we haven't done any no, tag videos. I've not done a single one on my channel at all. Yeah. I've done a few on mine, but on Drizzle Land we haven't. So let's we're gonna do a horror movie tag right now. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll go ahead and start. There's ten questions. Number one: What is the first horror movie you remember watching? And I'll let that I'll let Drizzle start us off. What's the first one you've ever watched? Do you remember? Watching? This is gonna be. Uh, kind of surprising because I was fairly young. I want to say like 10, 11 years old. Um, that would be the first Alien movie. The first, very first one. Yeah, the very first Alien. I bet that scared the crap out of you when you uh, saw that movie. Yes, yeah, so I had my marriage for weeks on end and I slept with the lights on. So. Well, man, for me, I would have to say A Silver Bullet, the Stephen King movie. With Corey Haim, that man, that freaked out. The ending to that movie, where the do you think the wolf is dead, the werewolf is dead, and then he comes back. So that's the first one I remember watching. And I've read the and book before too. The book is pretty good, also. There's just so many Stephen King books yeah. that were turned into movies. It's just crazy. Number two, what is your favorite horror movie? So that's a tough one. Why don't we just name three? Because one's going to be too hard yeah, to... Yeah, I can't just name one. Yeah, let's name three. Go ahead. Mine right off the bat, uh, we're going to go with Scream, the first movie. Because it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't like to see Drew Barrymore? Uh, um, nobody, probably. <laughs> me like you. Yeah, me like you a lot. Um, okay, I still know what you did last summer. Um, mm -hmm. Because... Jennifer Love Hewitt is amazing in that movie, plus she's gorgeous in it. Yes. Um, the third one, okay, I'm going to go back to the 80s, and I'm going to say Pet Cemetery. There you the go. Okay. Evil Dead 2, Fright Night, and Night of the Creeps for me. Okay, number three. Oops, I had it pulled up here. I got to do it again. What is your favorite horror movie genre? Genre, genre. Hmm. What, was that, what does that even mean? Like I think it's category. Like what type of scary movie? Oh, like what? Like, like vampire? Or, yeah, okay. Vampire. Yeah, I see what they mean now. Okay. Um, I would list two for myself. I'm gonna say I like thrillers, um, and I also like sci-fi. Well, I think they're kind of they're asking more horror movie genre. Well, I don't then, think our thrillers really horror movies. Well, or can they? Okay, be? I guess then let's go with werewolves and vampires. That's what I would probably would say. Those movies are more. Yeah. Mm, I guess for me it would be a movie like Evil Dead Two. I don't know what category you'd put that well, in. That would be a slasher. It would be a slasher. Yeah. Okay, I guess I like slashers the most. All right. Are we on four? Let's see. What genre scares you the most? Hmm. I can think of that off the top of my head right now. Okay. I don't like scary movies that are filmed in real life. Like, you got to consider, like, paranormal activity. Oh, like reality Blair type. Witch, Blair Witch, Wrong Turn 2. You didn't like Blair Witch? Well, I like it, but I mean, it still scares the, the pants off. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can't watch the movie like in the dark or anything. You just don't like the the real reality show no, no, type. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, like when I first saw Blair Witch, the first movie, mm. I swear to God that I left my light on in my bedroom for oh, yeah. nights on end without turning it off because I just thought for sure that the witch was going yeah. to come hunt me down and kill me. So. Um. For me, it's probably werewolf movies. Like in American Werewolf in London, the first one, when he turns into the werewolf. Oh, man, I that's so scary. But uh, 
American Werewolf. Werewolves. Paris is crazy that's too. that's a good movie. That's more of a comedy. Well, although the first one is comedy too, yeah. but I like them both. The first one I can't even watch anymore. Number five. Number five. Yes. What is the last horror movie you watched that actually scared you? Huh. That actually scared you, Drizzle. Okay. Uh, Insidious. There you go. Part two. Is Part two. Creepy. Oh my god, is that creepy? Is that on streaming and all? Yes, it is. Okay, it's which on one? Netflix. Netflix. Yes. Okay. Mine would be. You'll think this is funny. The new Blair Witch. The Blair Witch. Uh, well, I could understand I, that was that. scary. The <laughs> ending of the movie is pretty creepy. They showed more of the house at the end. I like yeah. that. That was really cool. Okay. Number six. Who is your ultimate scream queen? Oh, huh. that's... that's uh, huh. Can I list two? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say... Drew Barrymore. Mm -hmm. And Jamie Lee Curtis. I'll also say Jamie Lee Curtis and who else? If I had to pick one more. What about Jennifer Love Hewitt? Is she screamed in that movie? Oh well, yeah, she? she yeah. There's the scene where she's on the boat and she just screams at the top of her lungs. Yeah, that I would You put her on there. there. Okay. And number seven. What's a concept that you'd like to see in horror? Oh, I've been thinking about this for ten years. Yeah. Because I wanted to direct my own horror movie actually years ago, but I just never did it. But I have an ingenious idea for one for a really good movie. Okay. Okay. I want to do a movie where the killer is somebody who nobody would ever suspect, and that's somebody who's totally blind. Hmm. And what he does is he waits for people in dark areas where he knows where they're going to be, and then he mm -hmm. sneaks up behind them and like basically kills them. Wow, I don't think that's been done. No. Not that I know of. Um, man, I don't really know. I, something original. I really don't have an answer for this because I'm kind of put on the spot here. Maybe something to do with a library. I don't know. Because I used to work at one. Like a haunted library basement or something. Well, that could work. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Libraries aren't always, you know, uh, fun areas to be in. No. Creepy, so. Well, it could also we could combine the two. Like, what if the blind man lives at the works at the library, and yeah. then at night yeah. when there's people like janitors and yeah. stuff, he stalks the people. What if he is the janitor? Oh yeah, there you go. What if he's yeah. the blind janitor that works at the library, and he doesn't like young people, so he just keeps killing the young kids off. Turn their library books like late. Okay, yeah, we need to go to Hollywood, <laughs> I think, and get this movie made. Oh, maybe you and me could just make the movie somehow. Why not? I mean, there's people <laughs> on YouTube that make little short clip movies. So. Okay, uh, let's go to I think number eight. We're on, I believe, and that is. What is your favorite on-screen kill? Oh, that's a mm. tough one. That's a tough one. Man. Boy. I might have to list more than one. I think I'll just say one that I can think of, but um, I'll just go ahead while you're thinking about yours. It's in Leprechaun 3 where he, the Leprechaun makes that, that lady like blow up. Do you remember that? When she's in by the yeah, mirror? Yeah, because she wants to be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was really crazy. Uh, I am going to say Evil Dead 2, when he's using the chainsaw to just oh, slash the zombie in oh, half. Oh, yeah. And, and the zombie's screaming and yes. laughing at the same time. I agree with that one, um, definitely. The next one is in Scream 2 in the movie theater where oh, yeah. the killer comes in um, dressed up in the costume and he just basically stabs the girl next to him like totally don't they all just think it's a well yeah they think it's a scene because she dies uh, right in front of the movie theater, like the wasn't movie it screen. that jada pinkett yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and yeah. scary movie makes fun of it too so yeah 
Yeah, I remember that. I never did see the Scream 4 one. I like Is it good? Number nine, what's your favorite horror franchise? Huh. Oh, that'll be tough. Yeah. I guess I can name a couple if you want to name a couple. I'm going to name four. Okay. Evil Dead. Scream. Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, Evil Dead. Uh, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. Hmm. Uh, Waxwork, I like those. And I guess, I guess Freddy, Freddy movies. That's a tough one. Okay, last question. Who's your favorite horror director? Director. Oh. Huh. Hmm. This is a really interesting question. Wes Craven, definitely for me. Mm. And I'm going to also say George A. Romero. There you go. Night of the Living Dead, all those. Yeah. Uh, George Romero also on mine. Wes Craven, Sam Raimi. And John Carpenter, he did a couple oh, of horror movies. Fully spaced out. Yeah, this, these are hard questions. I think that's all, Drizzle, for the the tag here. I would like to to do one more thing. Okay. Um, I would like to list my favorite horror characters. Go ahead. Um, Chucky, Freddy, Jason, and Ghostface. Ghost faces from Scream, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I think that about wraps it up. So please like and subscribe to Drizzle's Drizzle Land channel. And we'd like to do more videos like this if you guys like the video. Um, yeah. We had fun with doing that stuff. All right, guys. Well, this has been Jay Wilkins79 and Drizzle, and we will see you all later. Peace.